Hey there YouTube. This is my ammo can that I painted white and uh, I'm going to walk you through it. These are the fans I'm using. Uh, I don't know if they're that great. i got to test it, put on the 12 volt instead of on the block here. But um, anyway, here's all the screws for the front. This is what the fan looks like. It's just kind of out of there. That one's pushing and this one's pulling or vice versa. Uh, kind of label them, had to apply power, find out what they were. Um, so anyway, and then down inside here, if you can kind of see that, those are the standoffs um, that I wanted to do to kind of raise the um, my uh, charger controller because um, I wanted it to kind of be off the ground a little bit. Probably would have still been okay. These fins are pretty heavy duty, and being on the metal box, there probably would have. Probably would have acted as a um, heat sink, but anyway, um, hopefully this air will help with some full uh, flow, airflow, if it becomes too hot. And here I'm putting in one of the uh, uh, fans. You kind of see one is down there. It's uh, screwed in from the other side, but and I'm using these uh, self-tapping screws. These are uh, the quarter, quarter by three quarter, I think. Yeah, quarter inch uh, head by uh, three quarter. It's just about. Um, the proper depth for that little fan there. All right, here we go. All right, so I have this uh, Bioene Power 12 volt 20 amp MPP T20, and I've got the power pole connections. This is for the solar panel. This is the battery load, and um, comes with uh, <coughs> when you buy this charger comes with this um, charging port that can also be uh, put into the battery here and also comes with uh, power pole cables. <clears throat> so here is the outside of it. Here's where the uh, four holes are. One, two, three, four. The power plug is for the power. I'm go right there. Got a couple fans in here that I'm going to wire in a temperature sensor. Um, there's the four posts. You can see here, uh, you know, one, two, three, four posts. So we'll be elevated a little bit. We let the heat fins here breathe a little bit. We have a temperature sensor uh, somewhere, somewhere, and that's what I'm going to be. <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be using so the heat gets up. Um, so high, and it'll keep the fans on, and it's adjustable. And so that's it. Here's some of the tools I used. Um, got a bunch of tools for um, for the um, power poles, a voltmeter, and a block right over there. I'm going to use as the distribution panel. And here's a uh, some of the heat shrink that I've used. Some of the cables and um, small fortune in power pole connections and cables and connectors. This is the uh, on off switch, which is going to go uh, right inside here. There's a little hole right in there. I have a four port panel. As you can see here, I have uh, power poles, I have a USB port. Oops, sorry, USB port. Uh, looks like it's the 4.2 amp. Uh, I've got a power meter here that tells me my voltage. And this is a 12-volt uh, uh, um, car outlet. And I also have, um, I drilled some holes there for a fan. And if you actually look inside, I have uh, another fan on the other side. They're just little CPU fans. And if you actually look inside, I have a uh, Bione, I forget how you say it, B I O E, yeah, sorry about that, B I O E N N O uh, power. It's a 12 volt, 20 amp. And what I did was uh, for right here where the solar panel um, comes in here, right there. Uh, I have uh, power poles, and then I have a plug here, 
sorry about that, I have a plug here that um, will go into these um, lithium phosphate um, for uh, 12.45 amp batteries. Here you can take a picture of that if you want. And um, about two of them, so I have them in parallel. And then they all plug into uh, like a distribution block, which is a rig runner here. I'm not going to use the uh, USB, but um, has USB ports, and then each one of these is um, has a different uh, um, breaker for each one. And then I also have here is a uh, temperature sensor for the fan. So as it gets hot, it'll uh, turn on and circulate some of the air. That's it for right now. Okay, well, I sliced or put these wires in parallel. So you can see there's two sets of red black there, and then I used a barrel connector here uh, with this tool here, which you can find lots of videos on um, YouTube, YQK-70. It comes in different sizes. I found somebody that posted it online, and this is what I ended up making myself just for my kit, or for my uh, crimping tool. It comes with those. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, it's made in China. So um, it's not, um, you know, it's pretty industrial, it's pretty heavy, but um, anyway, you kind of get what you pay for, so your mileage is going to vary. Um, so anyway, so that's what I have. That's what it looks like. It's not the best, but uh, whatever, it'll uh, work. And then I use heat shrink. I'm going to double that up uh, a couple times. All right, that's it for right now. Thanks. So I also um, wired these cables in parallel, not in serial, right? So I'm going to get uh, two point or 12 volts, 4.5 amp hours times two, and um, kind of rigged up this cable here. So it's in um, it's running in parallels. I can check the voltage here. It'd be about 12, uh, uh, about 13.4, 13.8 volts. And so that's about ready to go in. Here's most of what I need, not all of it. It's the four port with the power poles, USB right here. Uh, it's a digital meter car socket or um, cigarette sucker socket. Um, red switch and a couple of mounts. That's it for right now. So I wanted to do a in action kind of video with the uh, it's a solar panel I have I kind of made a case around it with some uh, redwood um, anyway um, so I can uh, underneath it is uh, Got some casters or anything there, so I can kind of roll it around if I need to. But anyway, wanted to plug this in and kind of show you it's um, kind of 10 a.m. and uh, it's an 80 watt uh, panel that I have here. And here's the very end of the cable. But anyway, wanted to plug it in, show it to you. Need to label these, which I haven't quite finished yet. But the top is for the um, kind of where the panel goes in. I can get that in hard with one hand but uh, there we go and so that's actually um, didn't bring a voltmeter out but a little power meter here on the side turn that on it's kind of hard to see in the sun too but there's the uh, meter and it's very difficult to See, it looks kind of weird with the uh, iPhone, but basically it's reading 13.8 volts, and so it's charging, and that's what it looks like. Um, so this is what it looks like when it's in the uh, charging state. So one of the use cases I came up with was, um, you know, this is a 12 volt uh, in. Uh, socket and I do have an inverter that I did plug into it so it's charging it's only 375 watts so obviously 
um, you know, won't provide a whole lot of power, but will be enough to charge up maybe a laptop or something along those lines. And I've got a couple of uh, outlets here. As you can see, it, it does work, it turns on. Um, obviously not as efficient to convert DC to AC because you take a hit, you know, it's 10, maybe 20% uh, efficiency loss. But it um, does have that capability if I did need to charge something and had to use uh, you know, 110, 120 um, AC. And again, uh, it's maybe kind of hard to see them in the sun, but there's a little blue LED there for the, um, uh, for the USB. And underneath here, again, um, it's kind of hard to see, but underneath here, uh, there is other power pole connections. So I'm able to plug uh, you know, ham radio, RC, tech car, um, things, anything that would plug into a power pole, 12 volt, uh, would definitely uh, provide power to. So um, that's it. And just to kind of start wrapping it up, um, I did use a lot more tools than I had anticipated, but I did have them. Um, this is the uh, kind of crimping tool for the power poles. This is a uh, Actually, I didn't use this tool. It's an RJ45 uh, tool, but I did use a another uh, tool for the, uh, I think they're called uh, M4s connectors. I apologize for the um, for the back of the uh, panels. So there's another panel uh, sitting over there, but I had to uh, change those out, or I had to uh, change the connection that was on the back of the panels and what they came. Uh, wire strippers. Um, I have a couple of other kind of cutting snipping tools. Probably what you really only need are those wire strippers. They're those kind of yellow ones. I got Craftsman's are like probably, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that. And then of course there was the uh, tool, the other um, kind of crimping tool that I used to combine uh, uh, or to kind of run some of the connections in uh, parallel. And then I also used a drill. If you can see one of those kind of uh, drill bits you can get from I got mine from Harbor Freight, um, which couldn't find the one I got on. I think it was e, uh, Amazon for like 10 bucks, and that one was like 20. But uh, again, it's probably cheaper than Home Depot. So these were these were most of the tools that um, that I ended up using. Really did kind of like I said earlier. And I apologize. A lot of this is kind of redundant, but really did like um, this uh, YQK70. Uh, it's really um, it's a really nice, heavy duty, uh, really kind of uh, smashed the connections down and kind of made them look uh, professional. But yeah, these were um, some of the tools that I used. So that's it. Um, apologize for the video, it's just not, I know you don't do a lot of these videos, but I thought I would document it. Oh, my hair's kind of not so great. Anyway, um, that's it. I just kind of have it sitting in front of my house for right now. I'll probably put the panel up on top of my roof somewhere. I have solar, but it's uh, um, from Sunrun, so this isn't really for that. This is more of a for camping, uh, kind of out out in the um, kind of dry dry type camping where you, you kind of want to still have some power. So uh, I can run these. I have another panel like that one that's back there. I can run those in um, parallel, so I have two 80 watt panels that could charge up. Uh, that little that little box right there. That box probably weighs maybe, I don't know, three pounds. I didn't put it on a scale. Um, so I, again, it's a, I have two 4.5 amp batteries that are 12 volts a piece. And I think I calculated 100 watts. I'm not, I probably didn't do the math right, but um, you know, it's able to um, you know, provide some power for a bunch of different use cases. Again, I'm more of a kind of ham radio guy, so I want it for a field day or kind of go out and do maybe a, a couple hours or so on uh, you know some portable op operation um, but again it'll provide power for kind of what I was interested in doing so hopefully you guys got some use out of this there's a bunch of um, other YouTube videos that I got some of these ideas from so obviously I'll post all those in the uh, description and try to put all the places and some of the parts that I think are um, maybe going to be maybe of interest, maybe not. Uh, and I also made a few trips to um, Ace Hardware for some of the little uh, pieces and parts that I needed for screws and 
um, and the like. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.